The tiara she wore when she was Miss Washington, D.C., before she went into the Miss America pageant, which she finished 11th in. She, but D.C. was obviously very pumped that she was Miss D.C., so as you can see, Scarlett Jean Chenault, her uh, original name, Miss Washington, 1961. And she got the key to Washington, D.C., as you can see right there. My mom had the key to DC. Pretty amazing. And you know where it is? Down here with one of my ugly ass drawings I did with marker. <laughs> Creek Fest started in 2010 uh, with my brother and I and our friend Blaine and our families. Very small, um, just a few people sitting around playing guitars. And it was so hot that we went down to the creek to go swimming. And it just started as a small event. And it just got a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and more friends and more people came uh, and really now it's just an annual event for our friends and family and extended friends and extended family to get together play music have some drinks have some laughs and spend a day together here on cold Saturday and last year we were in the midst of planning our seventh annual Creek Fest. And about a month or so before, we got word that our mom, Scarlett, was really sick. And then, five days before Creek Fest was supposed to happen, she died. And last summer, um, the day that we were supposed to have Creek Fest was her memorial service. And now here we are, one year later, one year without her. And we're getting back together again. And it's almost as if her 
presence and her spirit over this event, over this place, over this weekend is greater than it ever was when she was here. perpetuate the stories that I like uh, like so much history it's subject to who, people's opinions but um, the house the farm was a land grant from the King of England to a Philadelphia attorney named Michael Huff who built the house for the governor to live in um, in 1765 it took them five years to build the house uh, my understanding is when they moved here it was the wife, the governor's wife, who said it'll be a cold Saturday in hell before I move into Finksburg. Of, uh, Judge Hackney, who was the uh, owner of the farm, he bought it in 1932 after the Depression. Uh, his story is they were just riding around the countryside. They were farmers. He was a lawyer in Baltimore, youngest lawyer ever to serve in Baltimore. And when he bought the farm, they moved out here and turned it into the uh, what might be considered a premier Aberdeen Angus cattle farm. They were the first farm in the United States to fly cattle into places like the Virgin Islands and uh, um, other parts of uh, Central and South America. I think um, uh, a final decision to buy the farm was based on uh, one of our sons named Sean Bean who said, go for it, Dad. That's a quote. And uh, so we went for it. And I uh, didn't let Scarlett see the inside of the house until after we had bought it because it was in such a terrible shape and uh, critters running in and out of the broken windows and upstairs on the third floor, the other critters that you wouldn't want to have. But uh, we spent two years fixing it up. But after she finally saw the end product, I think she was pretty proud and happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Please 
merchandise back in the corner. Take a look, see if anything strikes your fancy.
two, three, four, hey! So, best Creek Fest ever? Best Creek Fest ever, man.